What's good YouTube? Welcome to the last Postbusters tutorial in 2014. This year I recorded my first tutorial and the feedback was amazing. Thank you for your feedback that keeps me motivated to do more tutorials in the future. I know some of you like my voice and others hate it. I don't know what future brings. Maybe I will annoy you with my German accent sometime. But now let's get serious. I got many requests to do a tutorial about the time freezing title scenes I did for a music video. Well, it covers many subjects I did in earlier tutorials. Like my first green screen compositing, and the time freeze tutorial. So I will just call it the best of 2014 tutorial. For those of you who watched my tutorials, don't expect to learn much new. Now, this is what we gonna go create. Let's go. Create a new composition. Make it 10 seconds long. Then drag your green screen clip into the timeline. I want my seam to start freezing at about 2 and a half seconds. Then pick the pen tool or press G. Draw a garbage mask around your object. Go to effects and apply key light. Pick the screen color. Then change the view to screen matte. Now play around with the following settings to get a clean white on black matte. Increase the screen gain. Put the pre-blur to 0,1. Down on screen matte choose hard color for the replacement method. Then play around with clip black and clip white until you have a clean white matte. Decrease the screen shrink to about minus 1. Turn up the screen softness to 0,6. Now change the view to final result. Let's bring in our first background. I randomly googled them. Let's shot off our green screen clip for a moment. Let's mask out the background. So we can put another image behind that filthy room. Take the pen tool and mask out the door areas. Press M and subtract the mask. Then press F to bring up the mask feather. Put it to 1. Now we gonna repeat these steps and mask out every part of the openings. Okay, now check the 3D boxes, so we can move our layers around in 3 dimensional space. Create a new camera. Select the room layer and push it back into Z space. Then scale it back up. Press shift to keep the right proportions. Now put the second background image below the room layer. Make it 3D. Now push it even more back into Z space. Move it around to find the right perspective and position. If we take the camera tool, we can now move along in 3D space. Let's find the starting point for our camera move. Maybe you have to correct the position of the background from time to time until it fits perfectly into your scene. If you are happy with your starting point of the camera, go to the very beginning of the composition and bring up the camera transform settings. Put keyframes for every parameter and make a couple of more tweaks to get the perfect angle. Then go a few seconds forward in the timeline and bring the camera to the ending point of our first camera move. Now go to the point where you want the time starting to freeze. Select the green screen layer and press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. Right click. Go to time, 
Freeze Frame. Select the camera and press U to bring up the keyframes. Make new keyframes at the point where the time is starting to freeze. Then go to the end and choose the ending point for the time freeze camera move. Bam! So far so good. Now let's bring in some assets to make our time freeze scene more dramatic. I am choosing a fireball from Action Essentials 2. Put it above your green screen layer and make it 3D. Bring it closer to the camera and find the right point in time so it looks good when the time starts to freeze. Split the layer like we did before and freeze the frame. You can put in all kind of elements and repeat these steps. I think some debris would be cool. Alrighty. Let's create some 3D text with element 3D. Create a new solid. Then apply element. With the text tool you can type in whatever you want. Shut off the text layer. Go to element and bring up the custom layers. Choose your text layer on path 1. Go to scene setup and click extrude. Choose a bevel style from the presets. Next, choose an environment that matches the color of our background room. Open up group 1 and move the text on the Z axis closer to the camera. Then play around with the position and rotation settings until you are happy with the position of your text. In particle look you can adjust the scale. Let's get to our time freeze point in our composition. Make a keyframe for the Z position. Also open up multi object and enable it. Make another keyframe for the displace. Then go a few frames back right before the time starts to freeze and increase the displacement and bring the text behind the camera. Now make some keyframes for the rotation. Go to the end of our comp and rotate the object a bit. Ok, let's shut off the element layer for now. Go to the beginning of our comp and apply the camera lens blur on our second background. Check repeat edge pixels and put the radius to zero. Then move a few frames forward until our room appears in the scene. Apply the camera lens blur also on the room background. Make a keyframe for the blur radius. Do the same with the blur radius on the second background. 
press U to show up our keyframes and move a couple of frames forward in the timeline. Then put the radius for the room to zero. Crease it for the second background layer, so we can create the illusion that our camera changes its focus. Let's apply the blur also to the green screen and fire layer. Find the point in time where you want to put your character into focus and create new keyframes. Create also new keyframes for both of the backgrounds. Put the radius for the fire and the gunman to zero and increase the radius for the backgrounds. Hell yeah! Now let's start with the color correction. I am using tint to desaturate our images. Put the amount to 50. You can copy that effect by pressing Ctrl C and paste it on the other layers by pressing Ctrl V. Next, we gonna use curves to get some contrast. Also let's apply some glow onto the fireball. Choose on top. Then play around until you find a decent glowing look you like. Tweak the look by applying curves. Also make sure that you copy the color correction effects to the other parts of our layers because we splitted them. Now, let's bring in some particle stock footage. Press F4 to get to the transfer modes and select head. Apply curves. Go to our time freeze point and duplicate the particles by pressing Ctrl D. Make the copy of the particles 3D. Solo both of the layers and, and bring the 3D layer closer to the camera. Then line it up with the 2D layer. Split the 3D layer and get rid of the first part. Do the same with the 2D layer but get rid of the second part. Then enable time freeze on the 3D particle layer. Press Ctrl A to select all layers. Go to layer and click pre-compose. Go to the point where the time starts to freeze and create a new adjustment layer. Press enter to rename it. Name it Twitch1. Apply video copilots Twitch. Make a keyframe for the amount. Then put the amount 2 frames behind and 2 frames before to 0. Go to the keyframe in the middle. Put the speed to 8 and enable blur, color, light and scale. Then duplicate the layer. 
Disable the keyframes, put the speed to 5 and disable everything but the light. In operator controls put the light behavior to both. The amount to 25. Then split the layer and delete the first part of it. Now apply another tint onto our precom player. Put the amount to 50. Also some curves and increase the contrast again. Then let's bring in a glass texture. Put it to add. And apply the camera lens blur. Put the radius to about 12. Also some curves. Then another camera lens blur to the precom player. Put the amount to zero and make a keyframe for the radius. The same with the glass texture. Go forward in the timeline and switch the radius of both layers. Then copy the second keyframes by pressing Ctrl C and paste them some frames forward by pressing Ctrl V. Do the same with the first keyframes a couple of frames behind. Now create a new black solid. Draw a rectangle mask along the title save area. Subtract the mask. Split the precom player at our time freeze point. Press P and out click the position. Type in, wiggle, 6 comma 7. Then scale the layer up just a little bit. And make sure that our black solid is on the top of our composition. Then double click the precomp. Turn on the element layer. Press F4 and enable the motion blur. So, that's it. If you want to know how to achieve that particle transition at the end, just check out my tutorial, Trap Code Form on Green Screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a wonderful year. Hope you will join me next year. Please rate and subscribe. See you soon.